today we're at the archery range. Um, we're actually going to do a video comparing all of our crossbows since they all seem to be in a bit of a different price category, at least currently. Um, I also brought my uh, old beginner's crossbow, which is the cheapest one of all of them. Uh, we're going to shoot from 30 yards. Um, first we're going to shoot our own crossbows to see who is good enough to shoot for everyone else. We want to have some, some uh, consistency, so we're going to stay with the same shooter for all the crossbows, and then we'll see which crossbow is the most accurate. So this was my first crossbow. Um, it was a good starter crossbow. It was purchased for me. Um, it's the SA Sports Ambush. It was, um, you could find it in the Sportsman's Guide. Um, 285 feet per second, 11.5 inch power stroke, 150 pound draw weight, 4.2 pounds, so it's actually pretty light, 27 and a half inch width. Um, I think it was purchased for about $250, so it's pretty cheap, which is why it's a good starter crossbow. Um, I did shoot some, so I can't really complain. Minus a buck. No, no I buck. did not shoot a buck. All right, well, I'm no buck, Dave. Anyway. Straight to it. Oh, you Whoa. hit it. Low, but you hit it. Yeah, so this is my bow. It is a Killer Instinct Ripper 415. I used it last season. Um, I got some of the specs here. This is off of the Killer Instinct website. Speeds 415 feet per second. Kinetic energy 149 feet pounds. Uh, three and a half pound trigger pull. The width cocked is 14.25 inches. Uh, uncocked is 17.75 inches. Length is 35 inches, weight is 6.9 pounds, draw weight 200 pounds, uh, power stroke 15 inches, camo is chaos, and it's claiming that at 80 yards it has a 1 inch accuracy. So uh, we'll see about that today, we're shooting at 30 yards. I can't even see that. Uh, it goes top right. I got it. I don't know where I was aiming, to be honest. So I have the Parker Enforcer. A uh, little specs on it. It's 350 feet, 15 feet per second. Draw weight's 160 pounds. Uh, weighs 7 pounds. So uh, it goes for 499.25. It's discontinued, but I got it off of my buddy. So works for me. I dropped three last year. So we'll see what this year it does. So the, uh, the crossbow that I'm using now, the one that I got last year, um, is the Titan M1 from uh, Ten Point. I'll take it off. If you saw my videos, I did a pretty full review of it. Um, I'll give you the quick specs. Uh, so 32 and a half inches length, uh, axle to axle, uncocked 14 inches, cocked 9 inches, power stroke is 14 inches. Uh, the weight is 6.4 pounds, uh, 370 feet per second. Dave got it. Yeah, he's closest. Yeah, you got closest. <clears throat> so this is Dave's old crossbow, his new crossbow, Justin's crossbow, and then mine. So you can see the different levels of penetration. Yeah, you can see the, uh, this is only 285. It really doesn't go that far. Tyler's, what's yours? 415. What's yours? Uh, 415. Alright, mine's 
350, uh, I, I think. I think it's 385 or I know, you could <laughs> rewatch the beginning of the video. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway. You could insert it in there. These all go pretty far. This clearly doesn't. Looks like you're shooting. Oh, okay. This might take a while. Better not. I got dinner plans. That's going to put an end to that one. I can't figure out how to shoot this fucking thing. Maybe you should find a video on how to use it. Maybe I should make it. But if you don't know how to use it... I know how to use it, I just suck at it. I always had trouble with this. Let's find out a new Fuck me! Oh, I thought you were... Are you asshole? <laughs> <laughs> we are recording. That's not... I'm making the video, though. That's fine, but it's gotta go in. I feel like this is too good not to go in. Yeah. This is why you don't buy Twitter. It hurt my back. <laughs> it definitely goes there, I'm positive. But I always had trouble. It don't seem right to me. <laughs> Damn, it's like all hot now. If I have this much trouble with my other one, I'm gonna pack it in. There we go. Shoot good. Here we go, in the pen. Kind of jerked it a little bit. I mean, the crossbow. Yeah. What did we learn today? <laughs> this is why you're not killing deer. Oh, no. That's I what we learned. That was my ice cube. Nope, I was wrong. He's not the shooter. No, that was probably. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I fucking nailed it, bud. <laughs> That's right. Just oh, okay. he definitely did best with his. Yeah. Which one's? That one's yours. That one's mine. About the same, I guess. Really? Yeah. That's interesting to me. And then uh, I think I think the it's something. The target looks like. I can't see it. You fuck up another one of mine. My... <laughs> this thing's trash. Yeah, your grandfather bought it for yeah, me, buddy. Hey, I shot three deer with that. Money. Second. Pretty good, too, on that one. Straight darts, bro. Yeah, let's go take a look. So what can we say about this? Oh, I mean, I think personally, the most expensive cross, am I on camera? Yes. The most expensive crossbow uh, felt the the nicest. It was, you know, good weight to it. It felt like you are holding a good bow. Didn't get the most penetration, and I think just the scope's off a little bit, but that's like a scope issue, not a crossbow I issue. I think you can say that if you pay a very small amount. Yeah, this is inconsistent. We're shooting high, low, everything. Yeah. Um, my crossbow, I think for being in the middle, you know, it's... Uh, Penetration on yours is definitely yeah. the best. Um, you know, I mean, I think if you're... Any of these will easily kill a deer. I'd say mine and Justin's felt pretty similar in weight and shooting. Yeah. Um, I'd say obviously, the, you know, one that was double the price of ours <laughs> felt better. Yeah. But, uh... I don't know, I'm a big penetration guy, so yeah. I, I'd take the penetration over a feel any day. <laughs> for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stop on that. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, that was an interesting little experiment. Um, it's hard to take 
you know, I mean, there's a lot of grains of salt that you can, you know, take that with. Um, I know Tyler shoots with a 125 grain broadhead. I think Justin and I both shoot with 100 grain. Um, but we use our own arrows and our own broadheads um, with our own crossbows. So I don't know if that's really a variable that would make any difference. Um, none of us have touched our crossbows since last hunting season. And they probably could all do with some sighting in. So that's probably a big factor. Um, and of course, we're all going to be the most comfortable with our own crossbow. So that's obviously another factor. But anyway, it's in just interesting to see how, uh, you know, how the uh, different crossbows of different price points compare in different ways. And maybe we'll have another video of this uh, in the future, something similar. If there's anything you want to see, if you want to see a breakdown of our crossbows. Yeah. We could do yeah. individual reviews. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we could do individual reviews of other crossbows. Um, you know, if you want to see other factors, maybe sound, um, just ease of cocking, which we may have gotten some of that on there. <laughs> um, you know, just different accessories that you can get with each crossbow, all that stuff. If you want to see anything, just let us know. <laughs>